On any given day, a medical assistant might administer medication, help patients navigate complex insurance policies, and prep patients for examinations. Let's go inside one of the best healthcare systems in our state, Cox Health, to just see what a clinical administrator and medical assistant do in a hospital or your doctor's office. Medical assisting is like it sounds. Um, they assist our clinical medical team. A lot of places will run an entire clinic off of medical assistance. They keep the flow of the clinic moving. So medical assisting is a, is a big part in the medical industry. Any new multivitamins or supplements? Medical assisting has really grown and taken off in the last 20 years. Most clinics really um, look for medical assistance because um, they can teach them, they can help them grow. Medical assistants are very, very sought after. They are really vital to most organizations these days. They are so versatile. Um, they're able to be plugged and played into different positions, whether it be taking care of patients, assisting providers in procedures, working in our lab, um, working with instruments. Um, you know, they really can be very, very helpful to a clinic. You're kind of like an extension of that provider that you're working with or the clinic that you're in. It's, it's a busy job. Um, again, depending on where you work, it's depending on the tasks you will do. A day in my life was you know that you're going to have a very busy clinic day. So you know you're going to be seeing on a full clinic day, you're going to be seeing an average of 50 patients a day. So I'm going to have to rest your elbow up here. So with that being said, being in the moment, being involved, thinking forward, prepping the day, knowing, okay, well, today's a full clinic day, so I'm going to have about 50 patients. So making sure my charts are worked up, making sure I have the rooms fully stocked, making sure that I have everything I need for the provider. If he wants to do a procedure, if he wants to do a cast, if he wants to do everything that he has to do, making sure I know where all that stuff is located and just be ready to use it at any given time. So in between rooming patients, um, I may be asked to go help out in the lab. So someone has to leave to run down to main lab to grab something or go help somebody else. Um, in between also rooming patients, you know, answering phones, chaperoning with other providers, keeping rooms clean, just making sure that everything runs smoothly. Medical assisting kind of gets your foot in the door, lets you see what things you'll have to do. And I think within Cox Health, they offer a wide variety of opportunities um, to advancement. Like I said, I started as a medical assistant in the clinic, and now I'm a clinic administrator. Um, just from being able to get in my foot in the clinic and be able to learn those things. And so I think um, if you are interested in healthcare at all and you don't really know what you wanna do, you just have this sense that you wanna help people, medical assisting is a great place to start. I've been a medical assistant for 10 years now. And I've chose to stay as a medical assistant because for me, I've it's been my niche and it's been my calling and I've loved it ever since. Cox Health offers an amazing program called the Medical Assistant Apprenticeship Program. Um, I'm so thankful for that program. I've actually encouraged three staff members who have gone through the program to do it. Once you're accepted, it is a 12-week program that they train you in all aspects of medical assisting. It's a really cool experience because you know, they are being paid to go to school. So they're going to school, they're learning things, they're broadening their horizons, and then they're being paid to do so. And I think the best part of the program is people are really hands-on patient care within that first week or two. Um, a lot of programs you have to get a lot of base knowledge before they'll let you do externships in the clinic, but because we have that cohort with Cox Health, those medical assistants are in the clinic in those first two weeks getting to take vital signs and see what a real clinic looks like. The lovely thing about Cox Health is the fact that you may start in one area, but the health system is so large, there are so many different areas you can go and work for. You can be anything at any time. You can start as an MA and you can work through, you know, and become anything that you choose to be. What I look for really is those soft skills. So um, for us, we talk a lot about, it's uh, about being professional, respectful, and kind. And so I can teach you the skills of the job, but the characteristics and who you are in your core is what is really important and what I look for. So customer service, uh, communication skills, um, you know, genuine love for the job in healthcare, um, and you know, being able to multitask, um, being able to um, keep your cool under pressure because there's a lot of things going on all at once. Um, and so, those soft skills of really being able to talk to a patient, 
um, go from room to room and treat every patient amazing is really what I look for. What I look for is somebody that you know proves to me that they they care about people and that's what they want to do. I think anywhere within healthcare you have to have a passion to provide care for others. You're the first person they usually see in the office and you're probably the last person they see in the office because you're checking them in, you're helping the provider, but then you're educating them on the way out plus taking them up front to give them another appointment. So they have 80% of their contact with you in the clinic. So choosing to be an MA means that you're choosing to be a part of something to me that's very special because to me, I choose to be the light in someone's life. Joining us today live from Cox Health is Stephanie Boyd, Clinical Administrator, Emily Lynch, Medical Assistant 3. Hey, Stephanie, Emily, great to have you here at Healthcare Career Day. It's great to be here. Thanks for letting us speak today. So uh, you're welcome to kind of explain a little bit how you got into your role, and then uh, we have some questions coming in right now, so we'll go to those too. Um, well, I'll kind of start this one off. Um, I chose to be a medical assistant. Um, medical, the medical field in general is part of my, my life. My mother has always worked in the medical field, um, starting off in different aspects, um, even as an EMT, um, and then going on to become a nurse. And she was really my, um, my push, my drive to kind of do that. And I've always felt compelled to help people. Um, that's one thing I felt strongly about is being able to do things to help other people um, kind of better themselves or uh, making sure people get care that they need. Um, and that's kind of my drive in, in doing what I do. Yeah, and kind of the same story. Um, I've known since a very young age that I wanted to be in healthcare. Um, I started out wanting to be a physician um, and have now been in healthcare for 19 years. Uh, started out as a medical assistant and fell in love with the job, fell in love with um, being able to be a part of a team, being able to take care of patients. Um, I was always a leader in high school, and so I always knew I was called to lead people. And so uh, through medical assisting and being at Cox Health, I was able to grow into a clinic administrator leadership role. So did you, um, you mentioned you, you've been in healthcare for quite some time. Did you get involved with like some of your student um, associations like HOSA or anything else of that like when you were in high school? No. So when I was um, growing up, you know, medical assisting wasn't really that popular of a thing. Um, everybody wanted to be a nurse. Um, and so my aspirations were to be a nurse, but I became a mom and knew that school was not something I could do and commit to. And so I was offered a position within a small clinic um, and was taught on the job and, and grew in that role. And then through that knowledge, got another job and got another job and ended up at Cox Health. Um, and so the opportunities we afford through Cox Health and a partnership with OTC really is able to take those people that were in my situation who maybe had kids and couldn't go to school and work full time to provide for a family. Um, they take that and they grow those people. So, you know, that program allows um, you to work and to go to school all while being paid, ending up with a CCMA at the end where you can work in a clinic alongside all of our care team. So I'm really thankful for that. And I wish they had that when I was uh, younger. And, you know, we do have a lot of host of chapters joining us around the state of Missouri today, as well as in Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Texas, and so many others. So you're inspiring some other students around the country, not just in Missouri. So thanks for being here. And I see you're kind of traveling to the next emergency right now, almost. Um, we do have some questions that are coming in. So one of the questions, can you do medical assisting in the summer before college? Um, yeah, so the program, um, it runs three co cohorts. And so just applying for that and being able to get in, there are positions that are available PRN. And so um, we have a lot of people that work PRN, they get their medical assisting degree, they know they want to be an RN. And so they'll work in the clinic, you know, PRN as a medical assistant, while they're still going to advance their degree. And then um, we have a follow-up question. Uh, 
is your position more of a team job or a solo job? Um, being a medical assistant, you generally work as a team. Um, without my other, uh, I call them friends because ultimately they are friends, but my other coworkers, without them, I would not be able to completely do my job. Um, so you do work as a team. You work with everybody to make sure that the patients get the best experience. You know, we keep in mind that I love that Emily said we're friends because, you know, as a department, um, we're really like a family. We spend more time with each other than we really spend with, with our own families. And so um, being part of that teamwork environment is huge. Yeah, I, I, whenever I go into a doctor's office or a, a hospital um, for any, any reason whatsoever, that's the first thing that I get is it's a team effort. It's not a solo um, type job that you're out there doing on your own, regardless of what that job may be. So um, great, to, great to hear. We, um, we have a question from a, a HOSA student um, from St. Louis, and she would like to know what is the hardest part of your day? Um, the hardest part of my day would probably be, um, I would say multitasking. You have to have really good multitasking skills to be able to make sure you know what you are needing to do next and what you have going on at that time. Because sometimes you could have um, multiple things going on, you're pulled in one direction, but you know, someone pops out and says, hey, I need you to do this. So I would say multitasking, making sure you're staying focused on what you need to do uh, to make sure, again, that the patient gets the best experience and they are fully taken care of. Yeah, and I would tag on that with critical thinking. I think mm. being able to plan, but also being able to kind of know, and um, especially working in OB is very common that a provider who has a full clinic full of patients has to go and deliver a baby. And so we have to, you know, turn left when we were going straight to try to critically think to still take care of the patients and to still keep things going. Um, Missouri weather has been something too. The last couple of days we've had to critically think with to try to make sure that patients still get seen. Um, and so I think for me, someone who can, who can do that, it's, is a super big asset to a team. Yeah, great, great, great points there on that. Um, you know, critical thinking, that is one key thing that as you're in school right now, your teachers are helping you learn how to critically think and work through problems and challenges. So pay attention to that. Um, we do have some great questions coming in. For someone who wants to be an RN, do I have to be a medical assistant? I'm currently a unit assistant and I don't know if I need to transfer. Yeah, so that's a good question. Go ahead, Emily. Go ahead. <laughs> so that is a good question. Um, no, you do not need to be a medical assistant before you become or decide to be an RN. Um, if you want to go right in and be an RN, that is that's fantastic. That's something you can do. Being a medical assistant just gives you a broadened, uh, broadened um, kind of horizon or uh, perspective of what exactly you may entail um, as working in a clinic or in a healthcare setting prior to becoming a nurse. Um, just getting some of those other skills, like knowing how to take a blood pressure, uh, being able to draw blood, um, things like that. It just kind of like kind of puts your foot in the door. Um, but no, absolutely, you do not need to be a medical assistant before you become an RN. And I would say too, um, in a previous segment, they talked about how they had a career plan and then that plan changed. Being a medical assistant before you're an RN actually helps you with that because you may decide, I absolutely do not want to be a clinic nurse, or I absolutely want to be a clinic nurse. And being a medical assistant um, is a quick way to get your foot in the door and then decide, yeah, this really isn't for me. Um, I started as a medical assistant. I loved it, but I knew I needed to do more. And I had, had plans to be an RN. And and I realized that's not really what I wanted to do. I actually wanted leadership. And so going into business management was really a better choice for me, but I wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't have been a medical assistant first. Plus it makes you very, very um, attractive to people who are hiring into the medical field because that does count as experience. And so it may not be RN experience, but you at least know how a clinic works. And so that makes it a very attractive uh, hireable asset. Excellent, excellent. We have a follow-up question. 
And then this is our last question for the day because we got to zoom you back into the field, uh, Stephanie. So uh, mentioned RN as one of those pathways, but what about EMT? Is EMT part of uh, being a medical assistant or can you go that route and then go into the medical assistant profession? Um, that is a good question. Um, I think being an EMT and a medical assistant are different fields. I mean, you do have some of the, um, you do have uh, some of the similar skills, but an EMT is more of a fast paced um, a program, I believe. Uh, being a, uh, an EMT, you have to think more on your feet because um, you can have emergency situations that you have to um, attend to. And those are things that you know, a medical assistant might have something similar in a clinic, you know, someone might even have to do a nurse stat or something like that. But um, I think an EMT is, it would be a separate field in itself. Um, whereas being a medical assistant, I mean, you make, you could start off as a medical assistant and then become an EMT. Sure. Um, but I don't know, I think you would might need more requirements as an EMT. Yeah, and I think a lot of especially technical schools, not to plug OTC, but OTC does have uh, their own medical assistant program and an EMT program. And so I think that they're really lateral moves. But honestly, we all deal with kind of the same thing. It's just a little bit different as far as fast pace and emergency medicine and different things. So, um, you know, it's a lot more uh, gory than what we see in the clinics. Sometimes that's attractive. <laughs> I know it wouldn't be attractive for me, you know, the less gore, the better. <laughs> well, we're going to let you guys get back into the field and, and do the work that you need to do to keep people healthy and, and safe. So uh, thank you, Stephanie and Emily, for joining us today live for Healthcare Career Day. You bet. Thanks for having us.